Welcome to 2020. We are kicking off this new year with the Rogers Report from the Slater Family Ice Arena. We are in the middle of a great season, and so this month on the Rogers Report, hockey. Well, this is a sharpening room or a repairing room, and we do all of our repairs um, over here on our workbench. So this is the actual boot of the skate. Mm -hmm. Um, and what happens is we professionally scan each player's foot. The skates are then built at the factory. And when you sharpen these skates, you're Correct. customizing to each right. individual right. player. Correct. So you must take great pride when you see a player out making a great play on that ice, knowing uh, that those skates <laughs> were sharpened by you. I won't take any of that credit whatsoever. I do enjoy doing what I do, and I just want to see all of our student hockey athletes succeed, not only on the ice, but off the ice in the classroom, that they can have lasting memories they can take with them to their life-changing jobs, wherever that might be. It's amazing what you find here at uh, BGSU Hockey. Double bubble. Hmm. I wonder if there's any left. There is. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> okay, don't tell anybody I took a piece of golf. <laughs> I fell in love with hockey as a young kid and just kept playing and, and fortunately was uh, Lucky enough to come to Bowling Green as, as a student athlete with, with Jerry York and Terry Flanagan and Buddy Powers. And I'd never been to Bowling Green, Ohio. I'd never been to Ohio in my life. And I, I just felt something unique about this place. You know, the, the colors were, were brown and orange, and I'd never really seen that. And, and the people were so invested in hockey here. And the, the, the synergy between the community and the university was, was really unique. And it just felt different, and it felt like something that I, I really wanted to be a part of. You must uh, take some great satisfaction in just the role that hockey plays in our community here in Bowling Green. When this facility opens at six in the morning to the time it closes, it gets as much use as anybody or any facility we have. And it's a building that certainly opens its doors to all of Northwest Ohio and, and we're really proud of it. For, for being 52 years old, it, uh, it looks great. What's the next step? What's your your, your dreams and aspirations. Well, first, uh, finish off this next semester strong so I can graduate. Hopefully next year, or maybe even at the end of this year, try to go play pro hockey somewhere. Um, okay. But hopefully after a long, yeah. after our long season, go back to the tournament, so. Your captain this year, what does that mean? Yeah, it's very special. Um, this program has a long, long history of having really good players come through and really good captains, so. When Ix named me a captain last spring, I was very humbled and honored, and I was just very proud. Tell me about your Bowling Green experience. It's been amazing so far. Um, everything I could have asked for, honestly. I came and visited and I fell in love with it. So, um, you know, my past three years here have been unbelievable and I'm excited for the next two. So, um, you're doing some planning about life after Bowling Green? Yeah, I mean, after I graduate with my degree, um, I would love to keep pursuing my dream of playing the NHL. So, hopefully I'll be a Vegas Golden Knight one day. And you've been drafted. Yep, I was drafted um, summer after my freshman year. That team that you were drafted by has a Bowling Green connection. Yeah, George McPhee actually sitting in his stall too, so it's pretty surreal. Yeah, yeah, that's a great uh, connection. Yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this month's Rogers Report. We have featured the BGSU men's hockey program, but we also want to make sure to, to note uh, the important role that the Slater Family Ice Arena plays in the vitality of our region. We've got youth hockey here, we've got open skate here, we've got high school hockey, all kinds of activities going on every single day in this facility. And we are so pleased to be a public university driving the vitality of our region through all kinds of ways. It's great to be here. See you next month on the Rogers Report.